there was a specific moment where I ended up having a dream one night about being a priest. Mm -hmm. And from that dream, I woke up and I was like, it, it, this is really funny. I had a, like a big afro in the dream and I was teaching all these white haired little children and there was all this joy and I was wearing the Roman collar. And I woke up from the dream and I was like, that was a crazy dream. I sat on the edge of my bed just realizing that I um, was called to be a priest. It's the best. I love being a priest in Boulder like I cannot tell you. I've talked to somebody and they're like, oh, you're, you're Catholic? And they're like, oh, my cathedral is the woods. And you, you know what's great? Is it wonderful? Well, then talk to me about how you experience God within the woods. Like, there's all these really cool starting places that you can have within Boulder. I get a chance to walk with people and give counsel in areas that are like really... Um, really difficult for people. I get to walk with them in, in the real crosses and the real difficulties of their lives. And that's like the best gift to me. I mean, I can't even tell you. And to be able to, to, to share that with people is so powerful. One of the most uh, persuasive experiences of the church that exists now, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a profound need, that the gospel comes incarnate. We don't, we're not peddling a book. We're peddling a church. A church, uh, ecclesia, uh, which is, means gathering. We're, we're actually giving people an understanding of how do we gather together? How do we actually solve the problem of the distance that we experience between each other and come out of that into a real intimate life? A real you see into me and I see into you. And we ex let each other express that.